this is Kyle from We Tech Care Review, and today I'm just going to show you how to execute PowerShell scripts to move all your list items from one SharePoint list into another SharePoint list. Um, these scripts, when you run them, they will actually delete the records from the first list once they've been moved. So this can be used, you know, in a lot of times for archiving data out of large lists, um, or if you obviously want to go make those slight changes, you can duplicate the list items. But for this example, it's going to shift these three records from list one into list two, and it'll delete delete these records from list one. Um, so as you can see, we've got our two basic lists here. Uh, again, with PowerShell scripts, I've, a lot of times I've tried to sh do certain sy situations like this and shift data. Um, and when you try to do it through the browser, or a migration tool can work, but I've found with PowerShell scripts, you can do you know large numbers of the, these executed. So this is the PowerShell approach. Um, so we've got our list one and two. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna run through the scripts that we're going to use so this is a function so this full function to copy list items is what we'll put in first so i'll just run through this um a lot of this you don't need to change one thing i need to run to tell you on this is the get credential this is for a tenant where you don't have multi-factor authentication switched on um if you do have multi-factor authentication switched on you're going to just have to change this authentication type uh, most likely it'll be the connect spo service that you'll need to run and um, but for this example i've got it turned off on the account so this script will just work um the next thing that i think you should just pay some attention to is this section in the scripts here um i'm going to put all these scripts on the blog post which will be in a link in the description below um but one what you want to focus on here is this section so these are the columns that we've got in our sharepoint list in the source site to the target site so as you can remember i just had three columns and um, if you're going to add more obviously you can just build that out before the update command and that should that'll pick up all of that information when it moves it and put it into the new list so that's that set. Next is to set the parameter, the parameters. So we just have the three parameters here. You've got your site URL. So this is the full link to the site um, without any lists added on. So as you can see, it's sites. And then we've got dev, we take care of you. And then you've got your source list name, which I've got as list one. And then your target list name, which is list two. And then finally, you've just got the copy list items. So this calls that above function, and then it passes in those parameters that we've specified here. So I'm just gonna execute these um so we're using sharepoint online manager and cell so now i'm just going to paste in that function that should all be fine um i'm now going to set my parameters which i've already got set up should be good and then now i'm going to execute that function so i'm going to paste that here now and now see you can see the windows popped up to ask for my authentication to connect into that tenant again this is without multi-factor authentication So that'll take a few seconds. And then there you can see, so it said the total items copied from list one to list two is three items. That was what we had. So we can just check back into that there. So you can see those items have now been removed from that list one. And there you can see that they've been added into list two. Um, I hope these scripts help someone. Please give feedback if, if there's anything else that you want. As I said, with that multi-factor authentication, if you're struggling with that, I can certainly change those, those scripts to match for that situation. Uh, please just put something in the comments and uh, take care. Thank you.